Celebrating 15 years of Young Turks. Welcome back. You're watching Young Turks, India's longest running show on startups and entrepreneurship. I'm Shireen Ban. In this segment, we bring you the story of Nishit Rastogi and Geet Garg's one and a half year old venture, Locus, which counts delivery, urban ladder, quicker and big basket as its clients. So what does Locus do for them? Its proprietary algorithms help companies dispatch, track and manage their on-field workforce efficiently, bringing anywhere between 25 to 50 percent efficiency to the delivery vertical. We caught up with the Locus team in Bengaluru and here's their startup story. Nishat Rastogi and Geet Garg were co-workers at Amazon Web Services in Bangalore when the brutal Nirbhaya rape case took place in the capital. These engineers immediately got to work designing and publishing an app called Right Safe that used cutting-edge algorithms to provide women a safe commuting experience. But to their surprise, they soon discovered that the then budding food tech industry was tapping into Ride Share too. They're not only using it for tracking it, but to measure any deviations from the route and basically for the intelligence piece. And the two things we discovered then was that the ones that do exist are not providing any intelligence and the ones that even try to provide some form of intelligence like the Oracle Transport Management System are designed for developed worlds and not like you know developing countries like India where you know your maps are broken, your addresses are handwritten, you have to deliver goods to you know behind Hanuman Mandir. This was the birth of Locus and the approach of the team has been to build this product from first principles. What guides the team to plan the right shots is an understanding at a very fundamental level of how logistics and supply chain has transformed with the advent of e-commerce in the country. Ten years back when you know I was just starting my engineering, the only you know package or thing I was waiting to ever receive was you know my JE scorecard, which wasn't that great by the way. Uh, but today, all of us wait for our Amazon packages, Flipkart packages, right? You know, so the consumer has become part of the supply chain, which changed the expectation of how goods should be delivered across even the B2B space. Today, a decision making in the logistics is split across. The boardroom decides where the warehouses should be. Then the warehouse managers decide, you know, how many trucks I need. The truck drivers decide which route I'm going to take which means your logistic operation is only as sophisticated as your last attrition, right? You may be a 100-year-old company, but if your Bhandu warehouse, you know, your warehouse manager left you 18 months back, you're as good as brand new, right? So what Locus does it, it links together everything and coordinates a centralized decision-making process which keeps on building a cumulative knowledge base for the company. So you plan something, then you execute it on the ground, you monitor this execution, then you learn from this execution how good your planning was, and then you keep closing this gap. Let's take a look at how this works on ground. Bangalore-based Licious, an online meat processing and delivery startup, is one of Locus's customers. Licious uses a Locus dashboard to manage orders and deliveries end-to-end. -end. Once an order is placed, a route is optimized using Locus, and once the package leaves the Licious fulfillment center, that delivery is not only tracked in real time, but also intelligence is collected along the entire route, from notifying new addresses to understanding where deliveries are taking place. All of this information is then looped back into the system to facilitate the next round of deliveries. Locus thus provides actionable insights to the client to help them plan out their expansion strategies going forward. The team is now also working on an intelligent engine that provides warehouses with the most effective loading plan with simulations and a summary of the packing performance, leading thus to a higher utilization and efficiency rate. And the big enabler to build out these disruptive services has come from minds not related to logistics at all. One of the ways we optimize our route is by studying how ants move. So ants over generations figure out like the most optimized way of moving. Right? We are a cross-functional team and as a matter of fact, today we are actively recruiting musicians, athletes, you know, to bring in like more and more individual perspective. Having raised $2.5 million in a Series A round from investors like GrowX, AI-focused fund Pi Ventures, Infosys co-founder V. Balakrishnan's Xfinity Ventures, Bloom and Bnext, the team is now focused on signing up big FMCG and consumer durables companies as clients. 
having a registered office in the US gives the startup great IP protection but expanding into that market is still some time away. Well, yes, to dispelling the darkness, Nishit, and welcome to the Young Tax community. With that, it is time for us to wrap up this edition of Young Tax. Do tell us what you thought of our show. Connect with us on Facebook or on Twitter at CNBC Young Tax. Till next week from the entire team, goodbye. Many thanks for watching. Do remember the Young Tax Conclave coming up on the 12th of July. Stay in touch with us for updates. Celebrating 15 years of Young Turks.